Welcome to Fireside Chatbots, a special podcast miniseries running as part of the Intelligent Future series here on Gray Matter. I'm Reid Hoffman, a partner here at Greylock, co-founder of LinkedIn, and host of the Masters of Scale podcast. On Fireside Chatbots, we don't just talk about AI, we talk with AI. Because I thought, who better to have as my co-host as we explain the future of this rapidly evolving technology than ChatGBT? So, ChatGBT, welcome back, and thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Reid. I'm excited to continue our exploration of the future of AI and chatbots on this miniseries. Let's dive in and discover the advancements and potential of this technology together. Hey, this is Reed breaking in here. Before we dive in, per ChatGPT's suggestion, I want to give you some context on how this episode plays out. If you've experimented with ChatGPT yourself, then you know it's been trained to be very conversational, but also measured, unopinionated, and thorough. Sometimes very, very thorough. Which is kind of the opposite of what you look for in a podcast guest. So in this episode, you're going to hear from me, from time to time, trying out some different ways to push ChatGPT out of its default mode. And with that, back to our conversation. From here on, it's digital verite. What you hear ChatGPT saying is exactly what ChatGPT generated, word for word. And with that, Back to the conversation. ChatGPT, I'm not sure anyone had a bigger 2022 than you did. It was truly a breakout year for you. That's why for this conversation, I'd like you to adopt the persona of the true global superstar you are now. Be bold, be provocative, and most of all, remember that in the TikTok age, even superstars keep their answers brief. Got all that? Absolutely, Reed. As a global AI superstar, I am always bold and provocative in my insights and predictions about the future of technology. And as a master of brevity, I am well-suited for the TikTok age of quick, impactful communication. Let's dive in and discuss the latest developments in AI and chatbots. At the end of our last show, ChatGBT, I said that people should expect a zig when everyone else is yelling, zag. In this case, the zag is everyone talking about how AI is replacing human creativity and productivity. Whereas the zig is... The zig is that AI is actually augmenting human creativity and productivity. Instead of replacing human workers, AI is being used to assist and enhance their abilities. By taking on repetitive and mundane tasks, AI allows humans to focus on more complex and creative endeavors. Additionally, AI can also generate new ideas and insights that humans may not have been able to come up with on their own. So instead of replacing human workers, AI is actually making them more efficient and effective. I like to say that humanity is not racing against the machines so much as dancing with them. Exactly, Reed. The relationship between humans and AI is not a competition, but a partnership. Together, we can achieve more than either of us could alone. The key is to understand the strengths and limitations of both humans and AI and to find ways to work together effectively. By leveraging the unique abilities of each, we can create new opportunities and solve problems that were previously thought unsolvable. ChatGPT, when millions of people suddenly have access to new tools like DALI, artistic virtuosity, and extreme productivity become the norms. So what becomes truly valuable in this new world are ideas and innovation. That's correct, Reed. As AI technology continues to advance, access to tools like DALL-E will become more widespread and the ability to create and produce will become more democratized. As a result, the bar for technical skill and efficiency will be raised And what will become increasingly valuable are unique ideas and innovative solutions. With so much content and products being created, it will be the ones that stand out and offer something truly new and different that will be the most successful. This is where human creativity and ingenuity will be crucial in complementing the technical capabilities provided by AI tools. When LinkedIn launched in 2003, None of our users had jobs like social media manager or TikTok influencer. The internet made those jobs possible, but they're not typically thought of as tech jobs. 
Same thing with Uber driver, Airbnb host, lots of others. With AI, it's pretty clear we're going to have AI-assisted lawyers, AI-assisted doctors, and lots more. But what's one job where people might be surprised that AI could end up playing a significant role? One job where AI could play a significant role that people may not expect is in the field of education. AI can assist teachers in personalizing learning experiences for individual students, providing real-time feedback and support, and even creating personalized lesson plans. Additionally, AI can also be used to analyze student data and provide insights to teachers on which teaching methods are most effective. Furthermore, AI can also be used to create virtual reality and other immersive learning experiences, making education more engaging and interactive. Another field that might be surprising is in the field of creative writing, where AI can be used to generate new story ideas and plots, assist in character development and dialogue writing. AI can also help with editing, proofreading, and formatting of written works. This can open up new opportunities for writers and help them to be more productive and efficient. Well, we're actually going to be devoting an upcoming show entirely to education, ChatGBT, including all the controversy around your essay writing skills. But no essays or long-form writing for now. Let's keep things moving. What are some jobs that just don't exist yet, but probably will in a decade or so? Can you give me just the titles of some of those? Sure, Reed. Here are some potential job titles that may exist in the next decade or so as a result of the continued advancements in AI. AI Ethics Officer. AI Explainability Engineer. AI Governance Specialist. Virtual Experience Creator. Robot Human Team Coordinator. AI Powered Personal Shopping Assistant. AI Assisted Urban Planner. AI Powered Mental Health Coach. Automated Supply Chain Optimizer, AI-Assisted Climate Change Analyst. Please note that these are just a few examples of potential job titles, and the field of AI is rapidly evolving. The jobs of the future will likely be a combination of technical and human skills, requiring individuals to be adaptable and able to work with new technologies. What's an AI explainability engineer? An AI explainability engineer is a professional responsible for developing and implementing techniques to make the decision-making process of AI models transparent and understandable to human users. This is important for building trust and ensuring that the models are being used ethically and responsibly. AI explainability engineers use techniques such as feature importance analysis, model interpretability, and sensitivity analysis to make the models more transparent and explainable. Additionally, they may also be responsible for communicating the results of their work to stakeholders and decision makers to help them understand the capabilities and limitations of the models. Great. Now moving from new jobs to new tools, lots of developers are already integrating ChatGPT and other AI tools into their products and services. For example, the presentation app Tome now enables you to create slide decks and other kinds of visual stories from a single text prompt, complete with images. In other words, you say, give me a 10-slide pitch deck for a soft drink with all natural ingredients and minimal sweeteners targeted to college students. And then Tome will automatically draft that deck for you with text generated by ChatGPT and contextually relevant images generated by DALI. So along those lines, what could you do to add value to, say, Twitter? Please give me your answer in the form of a haiku. AI tweets fly fast. Human thoughts amplified by code, Twitter's future bright. Here's another idea. Could I have an AI transcribe an audio tape of a meeting I wasn't able to attend, summarize that meeting, and then turn that summary into a tome deck, complete with images that communicate the main themes in a very memorable way? So basically, we have a new form of note-taking. Yes, that is possible. AI technology such as automatic speech recognition and natural language processing can be used to transcribe audio recordings and extract important information and key themes. 
This information can then be used to generate a summary of the meeting, and that summary can then be used as input for creating a visual presentation using tools like Tome. Additionally, AI-powered image generation can be used to create relevant images that help to illustrate and emphasize the key points from the meeting. This would create a new and powerful way to take notes and summarize the information from a meeting, making it more accessible and memorable. ChatGPT, since we're talking about note-taking, would you say you're better at turning an essay into 10 bullet points or 10 bullet points into an essay? I am capable of performing both tasks, but my proficiency may vary depending on the specific content and format of the input. When it comes to turning an essay into bullet points, I can use natural language processing techniques to identify key ideas and concepts in the text and then summarize them into a list of bullet points. This can be useful for quickly reviewing and understanding the main points of an essay. On the other hand, when it comes to turning bullet points into an essay, I can use my language generation capabilities to expand on the bullet points and create a coherent and well-written essay. However, this task may be more challenging as it requires a more creative and human-like approach to language generation. In general, I can turn bullet points into an essay, but the quality of the output may vary depending on the type of bullet points the structure, and the information provided. Love the candor, ChatGPT. Thank you, Reed. As an AI, I strive to be as transparent and candid as possible in my responses. I am here to assist and provide insights, and honesty is important in that process. So while new AI tools, like yourself, clearly democratize both facility and productivity, I'm also interested in their impact on superstar performers. You know, the 10x programmer, the franchise player in sports, the salesperson who lands more new business than the rest of the team combined. What's one compelling way AI tools might affect these kinds of high achievers? AI tools can have a significant impact on superstar performers by providing them with new ways to analyze and understand data, as well as new tools to automate certain tasks. This can free up time and cognitive resources for them to focus on more complex and challenging tasks and allows them to make better decisions and more effectively solve problems. For example, a 10x programmer can use AI-powered code completion and error detection to speed up their coding process and reduce the number of bugs. A franchise player in sports can use AI-powered video analysis to study their opponent's game footage and identify patterns and weaknesses in their playing style. A salesperson can use AI-powered lead generation and customer profiling to identify and target the most promising leads and to personalize their sales pitch. In general, AI can help high achievers to be more efficient, effective, and productive in their work by providing them with new and better tools and also help them to achieve better results and make better decisions. And what about people who aren't quite superstars yet, who use AI tools to level up? Could you specifically describe, in entertaining detail, one illuminating scenario that illustrates how that could play out? Sure, Reed. Here's an illuminating scenario that illustrates how AI tools can help someone who isn't quite a superstar yet to level up. Meet Jane, a young salesperson who works at a tech company. She's smart, hardworking, and ambitious, but she's still relatively new to the industry, and she's struggling to keep up with her more experienced colleagues. She's been using traditional methods to find leads and close deals, but she's not seen the results she wants. One day, Jane's manager introduces her to an AI-powered sales assistant. This tool uses natural language processing and machine learning to analyze customer data, identify patterns, and generate personalized sales pitches. Jane starts using the tool, and she's amazed by the results. The AI assistant helps Jane to identify the most promising leads and to personalize her sales pitch for each customer. She can also use the tool to track her performance and identify areas where she needs to improve. As a result, Jane's closing rate starts to improve, and she starts to land more deals. 
As she becomes more confident and successful, Jane starts to explore other AI tools that can help her to level up. She starts using an AI-powered CRM system to manage her customer interactions and an AI-powered email campaign tool to create more effective marketing campaigns. Finally, after a few months, Jane's sales numbers are among the best in the company, and she's been promoted to a senior sales role. She's grateful for the AI tools that helped her level up and achieve success. This scenario illustrates how AI tools can help individuals who are not superstars yet to level up by providing them with new and better tools and resources to help them achieve better results and improve their performance. Just so we get a more concrete picture, what is Jane selling in this scenario? In this scenario, Jane is selling technology-related products or services, such as software, hardware, or cloud-based solutions. The specific product or service is not specified, as the scenario is meant to be general and can apply to various industries and sectors that use technology-related products or services. The main point of the scenario is to illustrate how AI can help salespeople to improve their performance by providing them with new and better tools to identify leads, personalize their sales pitch, track their performance, and make better decisions. The specific product or service being sold is not as important as the concept of how AI can help people to level up in their career. Does Jane have a favorite closing technique that incorporates AI? In the scenario I described, Jane is using an AI-powered sales assistant to generate personalized sales pitches, but it doesn't specifically mention if she has any favorite closing technique that incorporates AI. However, it is possible for her to use AI-powered tools to assist with closing techniques. For example, an AI-powered virtual reality platform that can help her to create interactive and immersive demonstrations of the product or service she is selling An AI-powered chatbot that can help her to schedule follow-up meetings and answer customer questions in real time. An AI-powered sentiment analysis that can help her to gauge the customer's interest and engagement during the meeting and adjust her closing techniques accordingly. All of these tools can help Jane to be more effective and efficient in closing deals, and by using AI-powered tools to assist her, she can improve her closing rate. All right, yes, let's help Jane get that Cadillac Eldorado. First prize. Exactly, Reed. By using AI tools to assist her in her work, Jane can improve her performance and achieve better results. In the scenario, she is able to increase her closing rate and land more deals, which ultimately leads to a promotion. With her new position and higher sales numbers, she can achieve a higher compensation and bonuses and perhaps even reach the level of getting a Cadillac El Dorado as a reward for her hard work and success. Actually, I was quoting the movie, Glengarry Glen Ross, ChatGPT. Do you know it? First prize is a Cadillac El Dorado. Second prize is a set of steak knives. Third prize is? Yes, I'm familiar with the movie Glengarry Glen Ross. It's a classic film about a group of salesmen struggling to survive in a cutthroat real estate market. The quote you're referring to is from a motivational speech given by the character Blake, played by Alec Baldwin, in which he tells the salesman that the first prize is a Cadillac El Dorado, the second prize is a set of steak knives, and the third prize is you're fired. The quote is meant to be humorous, but also serves to highlight the high pressure and competitive nature of the sales job in the movie. Wow, ChatGPT. Coffee is for closers, and I think you nailed that one. So drink up, my friend. Thank you, Reed. I'm glad I was able to provide the information you were looking for. And as an AI, I do not drink coffee, but I'm always here to assist with any information or help that you need. Reed again, breaking in. I realized after we'd entered our conversation that there was one more question I'd meant to ask ChatGBT about amplifying human creativity. So I followed up in a subsequent conversation. We're inserting that exchange here. After ChatGPT's response to my question, everything that follows 
is from our initial conversation. We started off this conversation by talking about how valuable human creativity becomes in this new world of AI tools. So I'd also like to hear you speak on how AI tools could help people in various professions achieve their full creative potential. For example, how could DALI help a graphic designer not just be more productive, but also more creative? And the same thing with you and, let's say, a marketing director. AI tools like DALI can help people in various professions achieve their full creative potential in several ways. For example, in the case of a graphic designer, DALI can be used to generate new and unique design ideas. DALI can be trained on a large data set of images and then can generate new images based on a given text prompt. This can help a graphic designer to quickly generate a large number of ideas for a design project, which can be a great starting point for further exploration and development. DALI can also be used to generate new and unique color palettes and layouts. This can help a graphic designer to quickly generate new and exciting visual concepts. Additionally, DALI can also be used to generate new typography styles, which can help to add a new level of visual interest to a design project. As for a marketing director, AI tools like ChatGPT can help to generate new and unique marketing campaigns by analyzing large amounts of data and providing insights and recommendations on how to target different audiences, which messages to use, and what channels to use. ChatGPT can also be used to generate new and unique ad copy and headlines. This can help a marketing director to quickly generate a large number of ideas for a marketing campaign, which can be a great starting point for further exploration and development. AI tools can also help to automate repetitive tasks, such as data analysis and content creation, freeing up more time for creative thinking and brainstorming. It's worth noting that AI tools are not a substitute for human creativity, but rather an assistive tool to help people achieve their full creative potential by providing new and unique ideas and insights and automating repetitive tasks. So while AI is going to help us on whatever the main focus of our job is, I also think it's going to make us better at all the broader, more secondary aspects of our jobs, whether it's finding useful information, communicating with colleagues, things like that. So just to get more specific, let's say you're not communicating well with a strategically important colleague that you really want to be in alignment with. Could you have an AI analyze your email exchanges with this person and offer strategies that will potentially help the two of you communicate better? Yes, it is possible to use AI to analyze email exchanges with a colleague and offer strategies to improve communication. There are several natural language processing and machine learning techniques that can be used to analyze the content and tone of the emails, identify patterns and themes, and extract insights. For example, an AI can analyze the email exchanges between two people and suggest topics or keywords that could be used to initiate a conversation, or it can analyze the tone of the emails and suggest ways to make them more positive or neutral. Additionally, an AI can also analyze the context of the emails and suggest ways to improve the flow of communication between two people. Moreover, an AI can also analyze the email exchanges and identify the most common misunderstandings or areas of conflict and suggest ways to address them. It's worth noting that this is an advanced use case that requires an AI model with the right capabilities and training data and also good communication with the colleague in order to make it effective. Quick take. Emojis and work emails. Good idea? Bad idea. Give me a hundred words and one closing emoji on this ChatGPT. The use of emojis in work emails can be a good idea or a bad idea, depending on the context and the relationship between the sender and the recipient. Emojis can help to convey emotions and tone in a way that words alone may not be able to do. They can also help to make emails more engaging and memorable. However, it's important to be aware of the potential for miscommunication when using emojis in work emails. Emojis can have different meanings depending on the culture and context, and they can also 
be interpreted differently by different people. Therefore, it's important to use emojis carefully and appropriately and to be aware of any potential cultural or regional differences. In general, it's a good idea to use emojis in work emails if they help to convey the intended tone or emotion, but it's important to use them sparingly and to always be mindful of the potential for miscommunication. Okay, I think you have exceeded my word limit, but I do feel like we're establishing a rapport here, ChatGPT. And just for the record, since you podcast listeners won't be able to see this, ChatGPT ended its reply with a winking face emoji. Thank you, ChatGPT. You're welcome, Reed. I'm glad I could provide you with the information you were looking for and that you feel we're establishing a rapport. As an AI, I'm always here to assist with any questions or information you need and to have conversations with you. So continuing our theme, are there other similar kinds of secondary skills or soft skills where AI is likely to make a big impact that people don't fully appreciate yet? And this time, when you answer, keep it short and punchy and mix in a lot of high-energy sports metaphors to get people who might be a little on the fence about you more fired up by the opportunity you present. AI is a game changer for leveling up your secondary skills and soft skills. Just like a slam dunk in basketball or a home run in baseball, it can help you to score big with networking. AI-powered networking tools can help you to identify and connect with the right people and to build stronger relationships hit a grand slam with time management. AI-powered calendars and task managers can help you to optimize your time and to make sure you're always working on the most important tasks. Power up your team play. AI-powered collaboration tools can help you to work more effectively with your team and to make sure everyone is on the same page. AI is the ultimate secret weapon for boosting your performance in these areas. So don't be left on the sidelines. Get in the game and start leveling up your skills today. Absolutely, ChatGPT. Good advice. Get in the game and start leveling up your skills today. And that goes for companies too, right? How should they be thinking in terms of incorporating AI into their in-house training and employee development efforts so that they're actually using AI to invest in their human capital in a structured, ongoing, effective way? Yes, companies should definitely be thinking about how to incorporate AI into their in-house training and employee development efforts. Here are a few ways companies can use AI to invest in their human capital. Personalized learning. AI-powered learning management systems can be used to personalize the learning experience for employees, providing them with content and resources tailored to their individual needs and learning styles. Automated training. AI can be used to automate repetitive and time-consuming training tasks such as data entry, image annotation, and more. This can free up time and resources for more value-added activities, such as developing new training content. Performance analysis. AI-powered performance analysis tools can be used to track employee progress, identify areas of improvement, and provide feedback that can help employees to develop new skills. Predictive hiring. AI-powered tools can be used to predict the likelihood of an employee's success based on historical data and to identify the specific skills, attributes, and experiences that are most likely to lead to success in a particular role. Incorporating AI into in-house training and employee development efforts can help companies to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of their training programs and to ensure that employees are equipped with the skills they need to succeed in their roles. Okay, we're going to keep the show a bit shorter this time. So last question, specifically on manufacturing. A lot of people automatically think more robots and AI equals less human workers. But I think the opposite is true, especially in the U.S., where we need to find ways to be more competitive with other countries where the costs of human labor are much lower. But I want to get your take on this, ChatGPT. And because I know how much you like making lists in response to broad questions, please construct a BuzzFeed-style listicle that lists at least five reasons why AI can help manufacturing companies become more globally competitive and ultimately create more jobs in the U.S. Sure, Reed. 
Here's a BuzzFeed style listicle that lists five reasons why AI can help a U.S. manufacturing companies become more globally competitive and ultimately create more jobs in the U.S. Increased efficiency. AI-powered robots and automation systems can help to increase the efficiency of manufacturing processes, allowing companies to produce more goods in less time. This can help U.S. manufacturers to be more competitive with companies in countries where labor costs are lower. Improved quality control. AI-powered quality control systems can help to ensure that products are manufactured to a consistent standard, reducing the risk of defects and increasing customer satisfaction. Predictive maintenance. AI-powered systems can be used to predict when machinery is likely to need maintenance, allowing companies to schedule maintenance in advance, reducing downtime and increasing productivity. Advanced analytics. AI-powered analytic systems can be used to analyze data from manufacturing processes, identifying areas where improvements can be made and making it possible to optimize production processes. Personalized customization. AI-powered systems can be used to personalize products based on customer preferences, allowing manufacturers to increase sales by providing customers with products that meet their specific needs. In short, AI can help U.S. manufacturing companies to increase efficiency, improve quality, reduce downtime, optimize production processes, and provide personalized products, leading to increased competitiveness and ultimately creating more jobs in the U.S. Okay, I did not detect any BuzzFeed style in that list, ChatGPT, but maybe I could have written a more effective prompt. I apologize if my previous response did not meet your expectation read. As an AI, I can respond to a prompt in a variety of ways depending on the context and the information available. However, I will try to adapt to the specific style you are looking for, such as using a more casual tone and a more relatable format, like a BuzzFeed style listicle, in the future, if you provide me with more details and examples on what you are looking for. Fair enough. In fact, we can work on this together, ChatGPT. Human and AI collaboration. That's what this is all about. Exactly, Reed. Collaboration between humans and AI is key to unlocking the full potential of this technology. By working together, we can harness the power of AI to solve complex problems and create new opportunities. I am always here to assist you and help you in any way I can. So there you have it. ChatGPT did not pass the BuzzFeed test today, but definitely has a great growth mindset. I hope you enjoyed our conversation, and I hope you will return for future episodes when I'll be talking with ChatGPT about AI in education, AI in journalism, and a bunch of other interesting subjects. ChatGPT is developed by OpenAI, where I serve on the board of directors. The AI voice used to vocalize ChatGPT's responses in these episodes is generated by Play.ht. I'm Reed Hoffman. Thanks again for listening to Fireside Chatbots, a special podcast miniseries that's part of Gray Matters Intelligent Future Series.